Jenny Smith teaches Year 2 Apple class at White Oak School in Swanley, Kent. She doesn't have a lot of experience teaching music, but today Penny and her teaching assistant Marion Dowell are going to work on a composition task with the class. This programme shows how any primary teacher, regardless of their musical ability, can work on achievable composition tasks with their Key Stage 1 pupils. This is Steve, the composer. This is Marion, my TA. First of all, Penny and Marion did some planning work with Gwyneth Johnson, the school's music coordinator, and composer Stephen Chadwick. In their literacy class the day before, the children drew pictures of some story endings. Stephen and Penny looked through their pictures to find those most suited to the musical task, in which pairs of children work to create a simple sound pattern which continues and then suddenly stops. Oh, this was a game of tennis. Um, which this boy had seen on the television and he'd seen the ball hit one of the players. One of the other ones is a, a, a robot walking that comes to the stairs and then falls down the stairs. That was a rocket going up and crashes into a satellite. Well, that, that'd be another, another good one. one. We might have this selection of instruments at the front of the, of the, the class and we're going to ask children to come up and demonstrate a few things. I need you to think, because I need a noise a musical instrument that will make a noise like a rocket going up into the sky first. What do you think? No, that's not Three. You see, what about if Matthew does his and he does, Adam Joshua does his at the same time? Should we try them both together? Yeah. Try them both together, Mommy. This is like a, a, a rocket, yes? If I give you a key to the car crashing into a wall, what instruments would you do for that? Can you put your instruments in the middle of the table, please, and don't touch them? I want you going along first. I want this noise of the guy called the car going along. That's a good one. So you have that first for me, can you? Go and practice. Right, go and sit down and put those down, then you can practice those in a minute. Take a picture, please. How many pairs of children are you going to put to each group of musical instruments? Um, two, two pairs or. Uh, and then uh, take it in turns to try them. Yeah. Together, or all well, have a go at the same time. Well, how many with? children have you got in your I've class? Got 23. 23. <laughs> what, what I would suggest in this case is the working pairs, but the children share the instruments between a group of four. So they, although they're working in pairs, they're, they're actually sharing the instruments and taking turns to play. Right, so can you give the instruments to the people who did not come out? So talk to your partner about what you're going to do to make a noise for the picture. <laughs> The organisational skills that you need aren't really any different from any other lesson. The only problem you've got is that instruments make noise. So you've probably got to work a little bit harder on the organisation. But really, I think most teachers have those skills already. So would you do one noise or would you do three noise? When the children actually go off to do this, do we help them? Uh, yeah. You, um, or do they... Do they make their own ideas up? Throughout the, the composing time, uh, stop them and, and just ask for a few uh, people to play what they've done already. And that way you get this, sort of this cross fertilisation of ideas. Right, and stop. Can you listen? If I say stop or put my hand up, that means stop. Can we start with you two? Can we hear this robot walking, please? Were you playing together or were you taking turns? What do you think, Ray? I reckon they were doing both. What did you think, though? You were right. What did you think they were doing? Taking turns. Turn. I think they were taking turns. Although they're both holding their instruments to play at the same time, yeah, you weren't actually playing them at the same time. You were taking turns, weren't you? You're doing the tennis game. Can you just all listen? Going on. It's important to get the, encourage the children to respond and get them to question about um, and appraise uh, each other's music. Did it feel like the car was moving? Did it feel like the car was stopping and starting? How did they do that with the music? What, what is your sound supposed to be? When, when he bumps into the wall, the wall's falling down. Oh, so you bunch to the end bit, but can you do like the car by going along the road first before we get to the end? The bit that comes before the end. 
Because you can think about that. What can you do so it's like moving along the road? And what would that be? What would that be? Engine. This is the little boy walking along the road. Does it sound like someone walking? Right, and stop. Can we pass the instruments to the other couple? And then they can have a go. Just now when we listened to Chloe and Georgia, they were taking turns in doing their instruments. I don't think you two are going to, are you? I think they were saying they're going to try and do theirs at the same time. So can you show us a tennis game? Me, it said that was a much slower game of tennis going on over there. What about you, two boys? The tree and the wind and the animals. Right. And stop. Right, Shanna, what did you say you wanted that to be the sound of? Uh, the um, branches are crackling. Uh, once you're satisfied that everybody's got, got an idea for right. and, they're, mm -hmm. and they're repeating, they've made up a little piece of music, we want to work out how to end that. With our car, the crashing into the wall could simply be a cymbal or that with a drum. Could you play that with a drum, Mary? And if you wanted it to be a bit more exciting, you could go. You've got to bring your piece of music to an end. So the car's going to go along the road and then crash into that wall. The tree, the wind's going to blow and then the tree's going to fall over, yes? Is that wind blowing? And stop. Finally, at the end of the, when we come to ask them to put their ideas together, we want to have a listening session and get them to comment on each other's piece. You've got to sit really quietly because these are going to perform, they're going to do their piece of music for you. And if you want someone to listen to yours, you've got to listen to theirs, haven't you? What, what are you doing? What's happening to the wind? It's getting blowing harder and harder and harder. Good. And then what happens? The tree falls down and goes bang. And then the wind's going to get stronger. Brilliant. Nice piece of music. That is great. Mm. And how are you going to end your tennis game that? What about if you had a little talk first and you said, well, I'm going, we're going to have the ball go across, say, six times. So, right, six, two, three, four, five, six, and on seven. No more ball going across, yes? I'll give the cue for when we're going to do our ending. If you go to watch people play music, what do you usually do at the end of say, oh, that was one clap, right? We're going to practice clapping at the end this time, all right? You've done really well today, so give yourselves a big clap. Okay, Penny, how do you think the lesson went? Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I think the children sort of seemed to enjoy it. They held the concentration. Next time I would lay out instruments more so they could see them better rather than try and take them yeah. from the, the uh, tray because they, they mm, were all on top and they couldn't work it to actually lay out a range of yeah. different instruments. They're all going for, you know, the, the drums and and instruments off mm. the trolley really mm. uh, but uh, it's good to get a really wide range of instruments and then they can see lots of different ideas on different types of instruments mm. particularly the tuned instruments mm. um, I think they worked well didn't they when yeah. we were using them yeah one thing I liked as well is I think they were doing a robot sound and they were alternating actually but in a yeah. quick way um, and he was actually using
the two boys over there with the robot falling down the stairs. They kept looking at each other, but neither of them would sort of make yeah. a decision that this is the end, is it? We're just going to keep going on. So in that case, uh, you can get them to, you know, one person becomes the leader and will say when the musical, or indicate by nodding their head or making a visual cue for when they move on to the, the end of the piece. Or they could do like they did with the tennis piece and have a set number of repetitions yeah. and then the piece ends. What the clapping did was made it a really special yeah. thing and everybody yeah, rose to it. <laughs> began, and every, all the class were listening yeah. and then because they, they were now had a part to play in, mm. in the performance that they were going to be appreciative and, and respond. Yeah, and I think they also were having to think about when's it going to end and I've got to be ready for when it ends so to sort of show my appreciation that, yeah. that was quite, yeah. There is another way that we can do this activity but it's more teacher-led. Can you do a bit of walking with your hands like this on your knees? You can have much more pupil involvement all the time uh, the, because you can get the whole class to help to make just one piece. Come round here then, come round the back. Right, let's go. What's your name? Jamie. Okay. Should we try that? What could we do? Oh, we could make a vocal sound. Should we try that with our voices? Good, well done. Now every so often, our robot's going to make a funny sound. It's going to beep. What's your name? Chloe. Chloe. Okay, Chloe. Okay, what could you play for me on this xylophone? What could you do? Oh, that's a good sound, isn't it? Already. So anybody is doing can do a vocal sound like that. Great. We've just got one more sound to play. Which is this one. A drum. Robots don't often have this, but in my robot, I've given him one. It's something in here, what is it? A heart. A heart, yeah, there we go. It's good, can you keep repeating that? That's a nice sound if it keeps going. <laughs> Organising the children, picking up on various points, but that just comes with experience, and the more you do that, I think uh, it just becomes quite natural thing to do with children at the end of the day. What do you think I'm going to use this symbol for? Oh, guys, guys. Look, when it blows up. Do you want to come and do it? Yeah, for when it blows up. <laughs> so that's really is an explosion, isn't it? Let's do it all together, ready? 